Hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa. Uh, we're here in the test world again. Um, mainly just because I've still have been uh, not feeling too inspired building on the Craft Nectar server, but yeah. Um, this episode, as you can see, I've created these kind of block monstrosity things just because I was messing around with MC Edit for the first time and look at these mob spawns. That is ridiculous. Uh, anyway, today I wanted to do some experimentation with TNT, mainly because uh, I have to clear out areas a bit and I want to find out, do some testing, see exactly how it works and what uh, kind of TNT formations are the most effective. So first off, uh, by the way, these are all just solid stone and I put them in here with MC Edit. Uh, but as you can see, I have not had MC Edit for that long, so I didn't just created some derpy square things. Okay, anyway. But it's solid stone, so first let's just take a single TNT block. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go down five blocks, place it, uh, set it off, and hopefully we can make it out. Yes. Okay. So let's see how much that blew up. All right. Um, oops. Okay, it looks like we have a complete perfect 3x3 three three area. Okay. So I think that basically tells us that TNT explosion... Whoops, god dang it. TNT explosions, I'll just go to a different one. TNT explosions are basically just, they're not really random at all, and they have just certain certain power or punch behind them. And it's enough to clear, clear out a 3x3 three three area of stone. And obviously, if you were using this on dirt and nether rack, it would be blowing up a lot more, but I thought stone would be appropriate since that is what usually um, you have to clear out a lot of the time. So now let's try doing a TNT cross. Which is just going to be like this, that, and that. And I probably should have found a better way to set this off, but uh, we'll just go with this. Okay, so let's see, let's inspect that, oh, okay, this seems a little more random, and I think this is partially because the TNT um, is blown outwards, you can kind of see, this is the center and that TNT, whoops, that TNT got thrown over there, that one over there, that one over there, but let's get a general estimate, I think. This block was still there. Oh, we need torches. Um, this looks like an actual cave. This is crazy. Um, let's see. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ish. So, about, about nine. Well, let's see how wide this one is. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. So about nine by nine, we can say. And I've, obviously, it's not perfect either because you still got these. But they definitely did clear out a little more. So that tells us that definitely having TNT <clears throat> or setting off more than one TNT at a time is helpful. Um. So okay, I guess you can just fill this in and use this one again. So now I want to see if we just do, let's see, um, we're just going to do, because what I've been doing in my single player world is using a kind of 9x9 nine nine TNT formation like this. And so in the first formation, we got, in the, well, just with the, just a single TNT, we got a 3x3 three three area. 
with 5 TNT across, we got roughly a 9 by 9 area. Um, so, um, if, if this is, um, or well, if the TNT effect is kind of multiply or stacks, we should get like a 27 by 27 area. I think that's how it works. And actually, well, yeah. All right, no, it wouldn't just because we only have a single layer. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll just see what happens. <clears throat> like a big explosion. Woo! Okay, let's see. So let's do our counting. Um, and yeah, and this again is a little more random, obviously, but it's because the TNT kind of <coughs> ignites the other ones. Let's see, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, see. <clears throat> Sorry, I got something in my throat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and let's actually check the height. We should have done that with the other one. Whoops. That is too fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe eight. <clears throat> so yeah. So this is roughly just a nine by nine. Maybe you could call that like a ten by ten if you kind of average it out. But let's actually check how high this one is though, because we didn't do that before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Well, I think though <clears throat> we can determine from this. <clears throat> that the most effective, uh, you could say, use, let's make it day, the most effective kind of use of TNT is to just put it uh, in one of these, whoops, one of these patterns. And that's because, and I think this is just because, here, let's just set this off right right on top and oh there's some background noise sorry if you can hear that um but basically that is because when you set off the middle one it'll blow the others to the side like that and it's kind of hard to see still but yeah and I guess you lose efficiency when you do the 9 by 9 because um because when these ones get blown to the side, there's not as much there to blow up. So, so the <clears throat> they're kind of overlapping air. Let's see. So the explosions by this TNT will kind of overlap with this one a little bit more. But this that this does seem to create a much deeper explosion. Okay, well, I think that's about it for today. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get a Craft Nectar episode up in the next couple of days. <clears throat> but, I mean, come on. Craft building and compared to blowing stuff up with TNT, I mean, come on. So, anyways, if you guys have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more videos, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, but otherwise, I am out of here. See y'all.